Would you like to learn more about applying base coat and primer sealer? Well, that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. Hey YouTube, this is Donnie Smith and welcome to another Eastwood video series. This is the video series where we're taking the Mustang project and we're going from start to finish, step by step, showing you how we painted this car. We're changed colors on it and we're almost there. We've almost got it. We've got it in the booth. We've got it masked off. We're about ready to get started spraying. We have got this car in the booth. We masked it in the previous video. Then we wiped it down, you know, our final time, tacked it with the tack cloth, and now we are ready to spray. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to apply some uh, primer sealer and we're going to apply some base coat. And one thing I want to mention, you know, notice we've cleaned the booth, we cleaned the car really good, but a lot of something that a lot of people overlook is yourself. A lot of the dirt that ends up in the paint job is from the people spraying it. So make sure before you walk in the booth that you spray yourself off really good with compressed air. And then also notice after getting the booth, we're putting on paint suits. And this not only helps keep the chemicals off your skin, but also helps, you know, keep keep from getting dirt that may end up in the paint job. You know, it could be some lint off your clothes or it could be, uh, you know, hair off your arm or something like that. So paint suits really help provide a cleaner paint job. They can get a little hot, but they are well worth it. Now we are using an Eastwood paint gun and uh, we, uh, Eastwood provided us this paint gun and the products to use for this project. And uh, we, you know, it's a 1.4 and we've had good luck with all the products and the, the spray gun at this point. So uh, what we're doing now, we're about to start spraying. And with the downdraft, you know, I think it's best to spray from the top to the bottom because that's kind of the movement of the airflow. Now, he's spraying from the outside in. Some people disagree with that. They say you should always on these top panels like the hood roof spray from the inside out just to help keep from dirt getting in there so you're not spraying against you know wet paint but this method is a wet method you know to keep a wet edge and you know that's the way I was taught and I've had pretty good luck with it so and, and that's something to keep in mind and that is that not every painter is going to paint the exact same way you know I, I know that some painters get so tied up or body men or whatever you know that is not how I do it that's not right you know and that that's not necessarily true uh, you do, there, there's a lot of ways to do it right you know you don't want to do it you know wrong but there's a lot of ways to do it right there's a lot of ways to do it wrong uh, but your method may not be the best method for somebody else so um, you know with, with the students you know I show them how I do it I show them a lot of videos and kind of let them develop their own method and you know that's in the end whenever you know if you become a painter you are you're just going to kind of develop your your own style your own methods you know how far do you hold the gun you know that's going to depend on the painter you know if you hold hold it a little bit further away which i do recommend beginning because you have more control if you you know hesitate for a second it's not going to run on you but if you hold it further away you're going to have to move slower you know if you hold closer you know you're going to have to move faster so i generally recommend to to start out a little bit further away and as you become comfortable you know then you can start getting closer to the panel and moving faster but what we're doing here we're applying epoxy primer it's Eastwood's epoxy primer mixes one to one with catalyst and uh, we're putting one coat on and what this does if there's any metal spots it's excellent for corrosion protection uh, it's also a you know works as a sealer and uh, if you know like the primer spots and, and, and areas that are different color you know this makes it one uniform color which makes it you know provides good hiding for whenever we go to apply our base coat and now we, we've got it applied you know it dried and we are getting ready to apply the base coat but first we're just going around we're tacking it off again if there's any dirt you know we're going to want to be sure and denib that at this point to get you know to, to remove that uh, dry spots we did have a few dry spots you know we, we removed that and that's something to keep in mind during these stages you can do that you know once you once you get to clear coat you really can't but uh, the sealer and base coat you know if you have some problems go ahead and take care of it you know if you have to apply a little more you know fine but it's better than you know having a, a dry spot or you know dirt that ends up in the finished product so we're just going around you know making sure it's ready and now we are going to start applying the base coat this is Eastwood's Boulevard Black. Uh, it mixes four to one, and it mixes with an activator. 
uh, you know, like the paints we're usually using is a reducer, but the difference with this is it will, you know, it gets hard. It'll harden up in your gun. You can't save the paint. So it is an activated base coat. And we're going to put two coats on this because we, you know, we've got a good ground coat with a sealer and it, this paint is very good hiding. Two, two coats is going to be, you know, that's going to cover well. Now, if it was a, a silver or something that has less hiding, we may put three. But uh, for this, you know, this works well. And I'm going to go over these products. I thought about doing it during the video, but I didn't want to make them too long. You know, and that's why I sped it up, of course, too. But um, I'm, I think I'll go over the products themselves in more depth in, a, in another video to keep these videos from being too long. And notice that uh, he's doing a little bit different technique, you know, like I mentioned. You know, one of the videos, videos I show is, is John uh, from House of Color. You know, he has a little bit different style, but I do like what he says. And he talks about being a robot. You know, if you can do the exact same thing every time, same overlap, right angle. You know, if you think like a robot, you know, that's what you want to do when you're spraying. But what he's doing different... Uh, from, from the previous whenever they was doing the primer sealer is he's doing the whole side and I per personally prefer doing panel at a time I think I can do a better job that way unless I'm doing like a candy coat or a pearl coat or something like that and then you really have to do the whole side at one time but if you do this method you need to learn how to walk with it a little bit uh, a little bit harder but you know it's a it's again this is going to be a preference preference I'm not saying uh, my way is the right way. I what I'm saying is to try different ways. You know, try you know painting the the side at a time. Try doing you know one panel at a time and, and see what works best for you. So don't be afraid to experiment with that a little bit. I think probably spraying and welding. You know, you really have to get your own feel for it. You know, because it's going to depend on your your technique, your skills you know, to determine what works best for you. So don't be afraid to try new things whenever, you know, you're working on cars, spraying, welding, or whatever. You know, everybody's going to have to do that fine tuning according to their skills. So, you know, what, what you want to look for, you know, if it looks great, well, obviously it's working for you. But if it doesn't, you know, if it's not working out right, you know, try something different. Try what does work well. So we are putting another coat of base coat on here. And keep in mind, I'll talk more about the flash times and all that in the other videos. But there are flash times with all these products. So be sure and read the technical data sheet for the products that you're using. So we are getting the second coat on here. And uh, another thing I want to mention right now is see how he's get putting the hose back behind him. You know, that keeps the hose from getting into the paint, you know, and a lot of dirt comes from the hose. Be sure and tack the hose off. And then whenever you're done, like if you have to go fill up with paint, you know, don't throw the hose on the ground. You know, kind of hang it up somewhere, you know, just to keep dirt from getting on that hose. Because, you know, a lot of the dirt comes from that. So we're talking about it, and, and maybe I did mention or recommend or tell him to try panel at a time because... You know, it's been a long time since I had this footage, so I can't remember, but he is doing a panel at a time now, so, you know, maybe he just wanted to try both ways, but we're doing this final coat of base coat, and he's doing it one, you know, doing each panel separately. But the, the most important thing, you know, about spraying, you know, in my opinion, is to work on your distance and speed and your overlap, you know, and also your angles, you know, make sure your gun angles are right, but, you know, that's probably one of the hardest things things to learn that I see you know students have problems with is uh, their distance and speed for example if they're far away like me I'm, I'm kind of short a lot of times over a hood or roof panel you know I have to shoot a little bit further away in the center so I have to slow down and you know if you get closer like where you can reach good you know I'm gonna have to speed up you know so make sure that you adjust your speed to the distance you are and that's just gonna take practice you know you're just gonna have to get out there and do that to kind of master that and also your overlap with this uh, solvent that we're using you know they recommend 50% so you overlap each pass 50% and you know I've noticed you know even in this video that you know that's off a little bit you know it all works out this car is going to look awesome when it's done I mean it, it turned out really good never think that you're good enough I mean you want to be confident but you always want to look for ways to improve you know how you could become better 
and never think that you know it all or that uh, that, that, that you don't need any improvement. Uh, anybody can improve. I don't care if you've been doing it for 30 years. You can still improve in your techniques and the way you do things. And I would have went ahead and cleared this car in this video, you know, put the primer sealer, the base coat and clear coat so we could do all three stages in this video, but there's actually an extra step that we're doing with this car. And that's uh, putting a, we're painting Mustang, the word Mustang on there and putting some pinstripes in a, in a stripe. So we really couldn't cram all that into this video. I mean, I really hate speeding it up like this. But I know usually if I have videos over 10 minutes, you know, I get some people that, you know, give me feedback, negative feedback about that. I know most videos, they want 10 minutes or less, it seems like. But, you know, it's just hard to cram all that in there. But that's why we're just doing these two stages in this video. In the next video, you know, we're going to show you how we did the stripes and the, the decals on this. We painted all that. And this was our first time to use many of these Eastwood products. We used some of them, but not really the, the primers and base coat like this. And, and you know, it's basically the same techniques, but with different brands, you may have to tweak what you, you do a little bit. I know we had to, you know, kind of learn as we go with, with the Eastwood products. And, I mean, it worked really well. Did an awesome job. But, you know, we did have to tweak a few things. It just was not what we was used to. But as far as the product, uh, the look, and how it turned out, totally awesome. I mean, it turned out really good. Well, there you have it. Uh, we've now got this car primer sealed. You know, we got it sealed. We got base coat on it. And now we are ready to put the stripes on and clear coat. Now, this base coat, it filled really good, real good hiding. I mean, it laid on top, hit everything underneath, you know, really, really good. Uh, it did dry a little different, you know, it's a little different than what we used to, but, you know, whenever you see how this car turned out, you're going to be amazed. It turned out really, really good. As always, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, you know, be sure to leave them down in the comment section and, uh, you know, that we can all learn from each other. There's a lot of different ways of doing things out there. I always enjoy reading, you know, when someone uh, has different methods. You know, maybe it's a tip or a trick that, you know, we don't know about. You know, be sure to leave us a comment down there. Uh, we can all get better, you know, through each other, you know, reading each other's comments. But don't ever think that you know, you know, everything or that you can't learn anything. Because I guarantee you, I still learn. And, you know, some of it's from students that know nothing about this. You know, they'll say something, bring it to my attention, and I'll think about it. Now, some of it, you don't know, no, that won't work. You know, that just, but some of it's like, you know what, let's give it a try. So, you know, I, I'm all about trying new things and experimenting. And, and I think the best painters out there are probably the same way. And if there are painters out there watching these videos, you know, I know there are some professional painters. Uh, that's probably why they're watching these videos. They just like to see different techniques, different people do. And, th and that's that's what I did for years. You know, I worked at a lot of shops and, and dealerships and things like that. And I just like to pick up on all the different ways things are done and then to develop my own way of doing things. But I'm, I'm always willing to learn something. Always like to see something new. You know, something can be done faster, be done better. You know, I'm, I'm always interested in to learn those things. But anyway, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, be sure and give us a thumbs up. And uh, have any questions or comment, leave them down there. And we will see you in the next video. Take care. And if you'd like to subscribe, just click the button right there. Or if you want to watch the entire playlist of the Eastwood video series uh, that we've got to to this point, just click on the video.